Now, 100 years after an Ayrshire soldier was awarded the Victoria Cross, a service has been held to commemorate his bravery during the Battle of Passchendaele in World War I. Robert Shanklin's granddaughter visited from Canada for the ceremony after an appeal to trace his family was launched. Our reporter Claire McNeil was there. It was a proud and emotional day for Robert Shanklin's family, who attended this ceremony in his honour. Uh, it's uh, definitely a pleasure to come here and, and see this and know that he's remembered. Emotions are very high, yes, lots of nerves the last week, getting prepared to come and wishing my brother and sister could be here too. I know they really wanted to. Our family has always been and always will be very proud of my grandfather's achievements during the Great War. South Ayrshire Council launched an appeal to try and trace Robert's relatives, but after no progress was made, they were beginning to think it was a lost cause, until a connection was made in Canada. The second cousin lives here in Scotland, and we've communicated uh, by email for about the last 12 years, and uh, my, my phone went crazy on Friday, October 6th, with messages from all over the world, actually, from people through Ancestry.com and my grandma's side of the family contacting, saying, they're looking for you and uh, they found us. Robert was awarded the Victoria Cross for showing the utmost bravery in battle on this date exactly 100 years ago. And today, he's being remembered as a courageous war hero. But to Janet, he's still just her lovable, playful grandpa. We didn't learn uh, what he had done in the war until we were a bit older where we could understand it. To us, he was just our grandpa, chubby, white-haired, um, always had uh, candies in his pocket always um, soft-spoken. Um, he was just grandpa. We just climbed on his lap and we enjoyed him. When Robert passed at the age of 80, he wasn't buried in his hometown. But this plaque will now stand as a lasting tribute to his memory. Claire McNeil, STV News.